Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Pokemon White. I'm the Mighty Lion, and today, or tonight, we're gonna go ahead and conquer the Nabossa City Gym. And if there's time, maybe the next gym after that, because really, they're not too, they're really close with each other. Alright, let's talk. Can I have some more water, please? Who would have guessed that the gym is a roller coaster? And here, here's your complimentary water. In this roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Then comes the platform. There, you can change where the coaster is going. Sometimes you can continue by riding the cars to opponents you defeat. That's how you aim for the gym leader. And by the way, electric type Pokemon don't do well against ground type moves. Yeah, that's the gym's theme. Electric types. Hey, come on. Come on, where's my ride? I need to get going. Yeah, uh, pardon the lag. I guess there's just too much on the screen. Oh, shit, I forgot, yeah, I have to, I have to dismount manually because if you wait, then you have, then you have to go to the, then you, then you go back in the loop. Anyway, so yeah, this gym, this is gonna be like the prime opportunity for me to trade up my drill bird because trust me, he's gonna come in handy for this gym. Like I did like a, like after like my last session, I did a little recording, no, I did like a little practice run to see how far I can get to the gym and how much progress I could eat, be able to do it. So yes, we have our new Pokemon here. This is Emolga, our Generation 5 version of Pikachu clone. Yeah, Gen 5 is... If anything, it's just like a... It resembles more Pachirisu than Pikachu. I mean, Pachirisu was an electric squirrel. Here, electric flying squirrel. And yeah, since, um, since Simulga can't do any electric attacks on me, he's just gonna spam the, um, double team. Trust me, I did this off screen, so I know what to expect. And if it's a case of using that, I'm going to try to own up with Pong Claws. <laughs> Get it? This is gonna be very tedious, so you know what? We're just gonna skip the idea. You got the point? This is pretty much how it's going to be. This is how it pretty much it unfolds. I'm gonna just, um, have Joker, um, stack up and just, um, go to town on these squirrels. So, see you at the end. Alright. So, yeah, that took a while. In fact, just a bit of a spoiler, because, again, since I practiced already before off screen, you're gonna only see, like, two types of electric type Pokemon here. And Molga, and the other one, Blitzel. That's it. Just those two electric types. So, no variety, just those two Pokemon. And in fact, there's another electric Pokemon called um, um, Tienemo, which evolves into like Electric and then Electros, Electros with a Thunderstone, which I actually love. All right, I don't know if there was another electric type. Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 5. Like, oh yeah! Joltik is another Pokemon, too, that's also an electric type. Come on, where's my ride? Oh, hello. Are you cool riding a roller coaster? When you ride a roller coaster, the speed makes you dizzy. I'm gonna make your head spin with a Pokemon battle that's just as intense. Yeah, sure. You can. Yeah, elegant. I have style. Even compared to Miss Elisa. I certainly hope so. Okay. Ooh, here comes the ramp. Roller coasters are fun, but they can be scary sometimes. Alright, press this switch over here. And we got probably one more battle coming up. Assuming they get here in time. Any day now. Hello. Your Nimbasa gym challenge is nearing the finale. But if you don't beat me, you don't get to meet Miss Lisa. That's nice. Alright, good news! Drillbird now learns Slash, so that's gonna make things a lot easier. Before I battle, I have to go I have to go and heal up. Gotta restore PB for home home claws, because trust me, I'm gonna need it. Okie duck. Everything's all healed up. One loop to loop, and here we are. 
Here's Elisa, which again, like I said, was another gym leader that gave me, I remember giving me so much trouble back in, back in the earlier days when I first got this game. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make the head spin. We'll see about that. I studied your tricks, Elisa. I'm ready for you. Alright, so here's Elisa. He's got, his teams consist of Emolga, Emolga, and Zep Striker. The Evolve Form of Blitzel. Now uh, yeah, interesting note, both her Emolga have different genders. But one thing for sure, all of her Pokemon have the new move called Bolt Switch. Which is pretty much like an electric version of U-Turn, only it's special. And also I'd like to point out something. Originally, um, when I was going into this gym, I thought for a minute that um, Hermolga had the move called Acrobatics, which is a another move introduced in Generation 5. Basically it's a base 55 flying move, but it deals double damage if the user isn't holding any items. So. Going into this, I thought at first that um, her Pokemon, her um, Amogas, had that ability, and that worried the hell out of me. But then, I, but then actually, to my relief, that they actually had the lesser known move known as Aerial Ace, and that gives me a sigh of relief. So, thank goodness for that. I'll take it. So yeah, I'm setting it up. And I'm ready to battle. So yeah, her Pokemon... The annoying gimmick about her is that her Pokemon will constantly be sw Volt Switching throughout the entire match. Because they never stand still, like ever. So you think you fight one Pokemon, and then they switch to the other, and it just keeps going and going and going, and it just never ever friggin' ends. It's absolutely tedious. And, honestly, it makes us so much better that we have a Rube Ground type on our team. Oh, and speaking of Elisa, yes, I think it's time we talk about the, um, the anime gym battle that Ash had against Elisa. Which was by far the stupidest that Ash got him ever behaved. Like, ever! And I was fucking waiting for the critical hit. Um... Fuck it, starting from scratch. Okay, we're back. I, um, grinded up, uh... I almost maxed out on the, uh, uh... The fucking, what's it called? Oh yeah, Home Claws! To max out attack. So yeah. Just gonna, at this point, going into town on, on the Amogas right here now. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, the gym, the gym later battle that Ash had against Elisa was by far Ash's dumbest moment. I mean, let's see, Ash made so many careless mistakes, it's not, it's like he was a completely different, it's like he was back to his old rookie days and then some. Alright, let's go over the list, basically. Uh, let's see. Plan to you bring in only one Pokemon into a full battle on three on three. We're getting type advantages. Oh yes, and of course, who could forget get forgetting his Pokemon's gender over and over and over again. Okay, now for the ace Pokemon, Zeb Striker. Again, like I said, how come Why is it that her Pokemon only are two different Pokemon in this gym. So yeah, good news is, yes, things are going good now. But yeah, literally, I will never forget the gym battle that Ash had against Liza, which was by far the dumbest Ash had ever been. But at least I'm no Ash Ketchum. I meant to make your head spin, but you shocked me instead. Electrifying, eh? My oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me. Ooh, I think she's coming on to me. I think she's... I rocked her world, didn't I? She called me a sweet fight. She called my fighting style sweet. Interesting. 
If you have four badges, Pokemon up to level 50, including trade Pokemon, will be. This is a move I like. Feel free to use it, um, if you want. Oh yeah, Volt Switch, baby. Friggin' love it. If you don't have another Pokemon, you can switch. So yeah. Wait for me on Route 5, huh? Looks like we need some guidance. Yeah, friggin' Volt Switch. Again, it's a really great move to have. Again, I think I explained already, it's like basically the, um... Electric version of U-turn. Only instead of being physical, it's special. And it's pretty much like used every single time. It's a great move. I mean, don't worry. I plan on catching out. Catch on getting some new Pokemon later on. Not just gonna be these theme guys all along. Like at some point, I'm gonna s I already explained the issue before, like, most of my Pokemon that I'm gonna catch are, like, super, are, like, kinda late game. But, I'm going for, I'm going for it. I like it. I made my team and I'm sticking with it. No matter what. Alright, let's buy some super potions. We're gonna need them. And maybe some more Pokeballs, too. Yes, 11 Pokeballs, because I don't know, despite watching the anime, I'm, always, I'm a stickler for it. Meaning, you catch all the Pokemon and Pokeballs every single time. You never use other balls. For some reason, they always decide to use Pokeballs. Well, there's a few exceptions, mind you. Hold that thought. Actually, hold on. While I'm here... Register. We can bike in style. Yeah, well we can just, now we can fast forward and bite. Save even more time. So yes, now we go on to the next city. But first, another rival battle, eh? Stop right there, you got a bolt badge, I got a bolt badge. Do the math, nerd. Ah, oh, Charon. When will you ever learn? You can't beat me. I've heard. Okay. Alright, time for Big Knight to get some next speed. So Dilber, yeah, really, Dilber really came in handy to that last gym, and you got a lot of training. Ha! You get your fake out. What a dull surprise this is. Oh, torment, huh? Fine! Let's see how you like this, you stupid kitty! Let's see, I'm surprised you chose- Really? You're surprised I chose a move that's super effective against your Pokemon? Darren, you got a lot to learn. Well, sure. Gives me an excuse to boost my speed up. Thanks for that, I suppose. The torment is still on. Two more times, eh? You like that? Sumo Pig wins. Saves the day once again. And do what? 26. Maybe three levels higher, but I still have the type this I thought about the type advantage. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. I don't mean to do that. Well fine, I'll just um tail whip. Save it for the next... Like, pretty much, um, soften him up for the next guy, I suppose. Sorry, Big Knight, you got to take the fall for that. And I guess Pain Sage is there, because why not? Focus energy, huh? Damn. Even with that, it still wasn't enough. Well, I can go for a paralysis. Hopefully, would be nice. No, no dice. Huh? Oh, shoot. Oh, the revives over there. I was trying to find out where the revives were. Okay. 
Yeah, again, at this point, these guys are just going to have to take the fall because somebody has to. I wonder, is it still faster? No, nope, no, nope, no, I'm not. Well, that was a stupid move. And he got a critical hit because, of course, he did. Alright, Tranquil. Go for it. Alright, air cutter. Son of a bitch! Come on! Do it again. Ah, it's a crit. And of course, he loves using items. Ouch. Okay, let me check the speed. 42 speed, and then we have... Hey, okay, 50 speed. Good enough. So we are faster, thankfully. And he's already got, like, um, one, one point low in defense, so this dick can actually do some considerable amount of damage. Right? Perfect! Just enough! Fuck yeah, drill burn! MVP! Alright. Just in case, um, drill burn falls. Gonna let, um... Big Knight actually gets some XP down. Alright, and heal up! I, I'm an equal opportunist. I like to, um, give everybody on my team equal chance. But you know, you can't just rely on one Pokemon all the time. It's a team game. Every, every like, is important on a person, on, on an animal or something like that. I don't know what it means. Point is... Point is, everyone needs to train. No room for doubt. And now we can probably set up some rollouts. Ow, goddammit, you got a crit again? Stupid monkey. Alright, now we just gotta train well. Boo! Forgot about that. Okay, fine. Jack's here to take the ball again. And we'll just go ahead and uh, wake up Joel Burr. And I. No, you know what? I'm gonna save the. Um, save the uh, revive for later. Right down the road. Really? Why are you detecting? You have... You're like 11 levels higher. What are you, scared or something? Can't believe that... Can't believe we survived that somehow. That's amazing. Well then. See, I can at least make things a little easier for... For a drill bar. Okay. There goes that. Alright, Joker. Finish the job. Metal claw. Now we're talking. Alright, just go for the good old slash attack. Is that all you're gonna do? Okay. Mind you, it's not over yet. I sent to detect, so let's just do this. Never mind, huh? Okay, fine. I should have just gone for... Slash. Well, no matter. I can at least do it again with more power to boot. Or crit. That even works too. Rock slide! Oh yeah, this is awesome. I'm loving this. Hmm. I want to keep Metal Claw, so... Home Claws, you were fun while it lasted. 
Thank you. Well, you're strong as usual. Damn straight. Why can't I beat you? Oh, hey Lisa. Any ideas? Oh, you two are friends. That's nice. Oh, you're helping each other get better by competing. Alright, let's go. Why did I just dismount off my bike? Oh, hello. Look who it is. It's the champion! Spoilers. Who is this man? This is Elder, the Universe Region's champion. Champion? I want the champion to be goofing off in a place like this. Oh, come on. People can relax sometimes. I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental little prick. You know that? I'm Elder and I'm the champion. Please to make your acquaintance. For well, information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of the universe. Yeah. You'll be the champion, huh? What do you plan on doing after becoming the champion? What else is there to do than become stronger? Right? Hmm, becoming stronger, you say? Is that all and alone enough to be a goal? It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. But yeah, learning to love Pokemon, too. Have a battle, huh? Oh, come on! I just lost all my Pokemon! Oh, thank you for sending me a trip, buddy! I owe you one! Okay, good, let's battle then. So, he wants us to battle against two kindergartners, eh? Okay. And they got two puppy doggies! Oh, good grief. I knew it! Double intimidation! Oh, sorry, just one, huh? Alright, rock slide away! Work up, huh? They wanna train, they wanna power themselves up, do they? Well, I'm not worried at all. See, if, if his life herd had a move called, um, Foul Clay, that would make this battle so much easier. Because Foul Clay, it's a really potent move. It does more damage based on, like, how much more attack the opponent has. So by that logic, if they keep using Workup more, boosting their power, Foul Play is going to hurt even more. Now he's got his starter out already. Helping hand, huh? Herdier's ready to help Herdier. That's right, we'll take on the weaker of the two, I guess. Sure. Well, that's one problem down, I guess. Oof! That was painful! Well, fine, I guess Big Knight can, um, go fight. Do on Big Knight. I don't feel together. Yeah, just let me do all the work. Cause you're not really doing much. I did most of the work. I'm the better e trainer. My Pokemon was so cute. My Pokemon listened to what I said and fought for me. Yes, you kids are learning really well. 